Welcome to TMZ Sports, the greatest show ever made on the planet. My name is yes, Evan, and that's Van Lathan. What up, what up? Michael J. Babcock is here. What's up? Crazy video in the newsroom just now. A bunch of Denver Broncos' top rookies, their top draft picks. Drew Locke, the quarterback. Noah Fant, the tight end, the number 20th overall pick in the draft, involved in a crash in an airport shuttle crash mm. at LAX on Wednesday. They were just got off a plane. They were coming to L.A. for a big rookie event involving the top drafted rookies. Both of them were on the shuttle, which takes you from the plane to the terminal, and it crashed. Drew Lock was actually standing up at the time, and if you've ever been on one of these shuttles, you know, standing room only kind of things, it can be bad. So uh, there they were in the in the in the terminal at the airport, both of them, Drew Lock and Noah Fant, and we asked them, "Tell us what was going on. Are you guys okay? What happened at the airport?" We actually uh, got in a wreck. Did you? On the uh, coming from the airplane. A car accident. No, literally in the shuttle. Me and Noah were in there. Oh, the shuttle, really? Yeah, the shuttle. The shuttle hit something? The shuttle hit something. It was wild. What'd you guys hit? Uh, we don't, I think it was like the thing that carries the bags. No kidding. You didn't get hurt. That's the most important no, thing. No, no, no. one got hurt on it. It was All just right. really weird. Were you sitting or standing at the time? I was standing. Did we Noah need was behind me and we... Uh, was it hard? The, the, the hit, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty hard. The whole front fender, like, whole, like, he's front tough. Off. He's tough, but, though. He's good. You know, good. We, we've taken worse hits before. Yeah, dude, a scary moment if you're John Elway, yeah. though, and your two top guys are uh, on, you know, just to, just going from the plane to the terminal, all of a sudden, bang. <laughs> you think you finally have a quarterback if you're John Elway, then he gets in a car wreck on the, on the airport runway. Drew Locke, 6'3, 228. He was the 42nd overall pick. Remember, he's, he's playing behind Joe Flacco over there in Denver, and there are all these reports that. That there's a rift between the two of them no, because said it's not his job to, tell, to help to mentor Locke him. He says, I'm not a mentor. I'm supposed way, to be here to be the starting quarterback. I'm not supposed to be here to mentor. Good for Joe Flacco in saying that. Yeah, it's so, not uh, Joe Flacco's job to mentor some young kid well, coming so in. Not, so, wait a second, so wait a second. In Babcock, Mr. Team First Everything, it's not Joe, Joe Flacco's job to make the team No, better? it's Joe Flacco's job to, to go play football. He's not a mentor. Right. Okay, but it's not but his I, job to try to make a member. It's not It's not his job. No, why am I going to help somebody take a job? Wait, it's not his job to try to make one of his teammates better? No. Okay. Why, you, why, why am I going to help right. someone take my job? Hey, hey listen, you your job is, but all, all, you're all Mr. Team, you're guys, Mr. Fans. Guys, care about the do you, you want to hear what Drew Locke team? has to say about the oh, supposed we are, rift? We asked him. Oh, okay. Here's, here's Drew Locke answering the question about the supposed rift between him and Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco said that he doesn't want to mentor, <laughs> he doesn't want to mentor, uh, mentor you, right? Yeah. What's your, what are your comments on that? No, I don't, I don't really have any comments on it. Me and Joe... You know, we've, he's taught me a lot so far. Um, he's, he's dealing with winning football games, and I'm dealing with trying to learn. So Got it. So he is mentoring understand. you a little bit. I mean, you know, we're, I mean, in, the same, same. we're in the same quarterback room every single yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Same field. Yeah, he's been, he's been great. Look at that. See, Joe Flacco may see, he talks tough, but when it comes down to it, when in a quarterback room, he's nice to the kid. And I don't think Drew Locke has even met Joe Flacco. <laughs> I think, think so. Joe Flacco <laughs> skyped, skyped into the quarterback. I don't think, I think Joe Flacco, like, meant everything that he said. Joe Flacco is 34 years old. He's not, he hasn't aged out. He's still elite, right? He's an elite yeah. quarterback well, in the NFL. He's not elete, but he's not too old to play. <laughs> I know, but the and reality he shouldn't is, help. He shouldn't have it, to help somebody else take like, his the job. The reality is this. If Joe Flacco cares about the team, you guys are all team first, team this, everyone should care about yeah. the team. I'm not if team Joe Flacco, first. Well, you are. You say that a guy can't even go have a good time after the damn team <laughs> is out of the playoffs. You're the least Shout consistent person James I've ever known. Like, so, But it's not his job to help his team no, get better. No, he still wants to wow. play. He's a football wait, 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 wait. player. It's not, it's like, he can't party after the team loses because he's got to care about the team that much. I think but he can't care about the team enough to actually help the team. What about this? Joe Flacco <laughs> Sabbath Sabotage the shuttle at LAX. Probably was. Joe Flacco <laughs> hit bro, bro, if he you look up, it's probably the, Joe the Flacco in a hat thing. that was driving. <laughs> if you like what you just saw, videos, great stories, and crazy photos, we've got more like it every single night on TMZ Sports on FS1.